Can you believe it? It's extraordinary. So here's the ruck jewel that Mark Rusciuto just previewed. The master and the apprentice. Source Jacobs against Riley O'Brien. Neither the veteran McKay. Pumps it back in for the Crows. The Giants have the numbers. Haynes is their intercept man. Brought to ground and flying in was McCadden. Look at the hunger for the Crows early on. And they get the decision. No attempt made by the Giant, who was pinned by about three Crows. One mark of the week. Last time around against Hawthorne. Now he scored the opening goal of the afternoon. Well played, Shane McCadden. 55, he looks pretty confident. And there is a rare blemish from Darcy Fogarty. In fact, it doesn't matter now because McAdam has plucked it. Factor that breeze in as well. Around the corner, Shane McAdam pulls it a little too far. And Haynes gets it out of there via Keith. Kept in by Cornelio. Risky kick. Saw Whitfield in space, though. It bounced the way of Sloan. Goes back to the Ruckman. O'Brien's kick pretty handy, and Stengel stuck it. Not, you can defend their outcoming kick, but if your man's in front, it's like a scatterball going in there. The 21-year-old averages a goal a game. Often those goals come in the opening term. And he's done it again, Tyson Stengel. Always a fast starter. Caldwell on the outside. And another kick. Just not weighted well enough. And McPherson picked it off this time. And his pass to no one in particular. Brody Smith switching it up. Crowd getting right behind Young Scholl. Gives Himmelberg every chance and he sticks the mark ahead of Haynes. And he'll go back and kick after the siren. With the first chance to hit the scoreboard. Very deliberate approach. The crowd lets you know it's right through the middle. Elliot Himmelberg on the board and Mum loves it. Round. Look out Jeremy Cameron. Stengel was hunting him down. Great fist from behind from O'Brien. Crouch to Jones. Oh! Hey! What about the trickery from McKay? Can he finish it off? No, it wouldn't quite sit for him, but they're around the back manoeuvre that Eddie Betts might have taught him. <laughs> and now DeBoer. That was one of those little games you play before the uh, <laughs> in pre-game to get your ball handling correct. Big up and under from DeBoer. Lloyd worked his way to front position. Sloan. Shows the aggression that Adelaide are playing with. They're crashing into every possible contest. That was a massive uh, connection. Have a look at uh, David Sam. McKay. <laughs> that is Harlem <laughs> Globetrotter stuff. Taranto. <laughs> McCarty not able to get into the game as yet. McPherson pulls it back in. Oh, McCann! Up he goes again. One mark of the week last week. There's another candidate to go back to back. Fogarty dropped a mark he should have taken. And can he step around core? Tried to use Schonberg. That tackle lingered from Kennedy. They've still got men over. Himmelberg has time to steady, and he didn't have the poise that time. How exciting system. Shane McAdams putting on a clinic. A bounce for O'Brien and Jacobs to go at it. O'Brien with the follow-up work again. Green crashes in with Sloan. Laird, who had 19 possessions, might be given a 20th there as he worked it to Keys. Whitfield heard the shout from the umpire, had to go. That handball was a no-looker, and it showed, didn't it? A Stengel finds Tex out the back, and he's going to join Tony Modra. 440 goals each for Tex and Modra. Hasn't he given us some looks down the years as we look back at the career of Tex Walker, drafted... Pick 75 in 2007 out of North Broken Hill. Looking at his milestone goals. The 100th, the 200th. Such a good set shot. And tonight he has joined Tony Modra as the all-time leaders on the Adelaide Crows goal kickers list. With 440 each, can Tex take over outright tonight? It's directly in front. Didn't make the distance earlier on from similar range. Gives this wow. one a ride, though. Looks pretty good off the boot. Challenge in the goal square. And no one got to Elliot Himmelberg, who was about to play on. He gets 50 in the end. Whitfield <laughs> said, hang on a minute. He was playing on there, and I had a chance to smother. That's well, a good spend. He actually gave him half a metre there instead correct. of 50. It's an investment. It's a good investment. And he did take a step. Yeah. The umpire he let did. him off there. It was good from Whitfield.
So two goals for Elliot Himmelberg, and the Crows looking good again. Able to go back to Cornelio, who's recovered from that knee to the back of the head. Bouncing ball. Takes a Crows bounce. McAdam just got the hands on it towards Sloan. All the way there, not quite. Oh, the goal umpire. He's going to give it. Nick Haynes didn't get the spoil in time. And Rory Sloan with a big goal for the Crows. Ooh. Well, long way. Hopper. The Giants work it forward, but the Crows have all the numbers. And McKay goes back inboard. McPherson quickly to Brad Crouch. Keeps on racking them up. They share it around the brothers. Three possessions in about five oh. seconds. And Walker on the lead. Keith nearly stepped over. What a kick from Walker. Has to be brave. McCannum with Shaw coming the other way. Great contest. Mm. The goal line. I'm not sure they checked. Touched at the point of kicking. Yeah, it had a different sort of look about it, didn't it? Off the boot. Here's a chance for Crouch. There's no touch on that one. And it's through again. Snapping truly the Crows right now. And opening up a margin. Looking to find Taranto. Scholl did well. Cornelio came the other way. Sloan has been so clean with his hands tonight. Reed v Stengel again that time. Stengel broke clear. McAdam! Oh. Free kick or mark. Take your pick, says the umpire. Wow. That's courageous, boys. That was fantastic, Rue, wasn't it? Just coming back with the flow. He knew what was coming. And credit to both players there. He's done that a couple of times now tonight. That is gutsy stuff because, you know, GWS defence is big and strong. And that's Haynes coming in there with Himmelberg up against a much smaller McAdam. He sure had a word to McAdam a moment ago. Said, I've kicked one on you, got one back. And now McAdam to answer with, for his second goal of the evening. What a strike from Shane McAdam, who's having another wonderful game tonight. Ball keeps finding Shaw, and he floats a clever handball to Ash. There's the height of Himmelberg. Don't think there's any any question. What is? Got some real interest. Is Harry's on Elliot? Yeah. Directly now. And they'll be talking about that out of bounds on the full. They thought they saw there for a while to come. Oh, Elliot Himmelberg. What about the marks being taken tonight? He's taken one on his brother there, who couldn't get to the contest from the backyard. The big brother Wagga to Adelaide Oval. The Himmelbergs going at it. When that happens in the backyard, you end up with a black eye. <laughs> and you end up with a fight, Rue. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look at... Can I... Uh, Rue, you've seen this, lad. I've seen more... The three nominations for the mark of the week in one game tonight. Himmelberg following up the efforts of Bobby Hill and McAdam. They came from behind against Carlton. Can they do it here against Adelaide? At Adelaide Oval. The Crows trying to surge it forward. Here's Toby Green in the middle. Had two to beat that time. Sloan came away with it. Jones on the wing. And gives Himmelberg a chance to attack it. But he saw McKinnon and McAdam coming across the face. And Murphy just punched it down for teammates to get after. Stengel across his body. Bouncing ball. One pro against three Giants. Fogarty lays the tackle great follow-up on himmelberg it spills for mckay elliott the beneficiary with the outside of the boot banana it's going the other way and cameron might be on the boundary line in a hurry he can't get his message across schomberg at speed right through the contest finds stengel brilliant play by the youngster in his first year of senior footy and they cap it with a goal in the final minute kennedy had no opportunity to get a disposal away he can have a shot from here mckay and that'll chew the clock, and the Crows, after no wins in nearly 400 days, are going to go back to back. The Crows, they were dead and buried two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Siren about to sound. Ball in the hands of Kyle Hardigan. And the Adelaide Crows win back to back games in 2020. Not many thought we'd see that. And they flip the top eight script on its head. The Giants are vulnerable in eighth spot right now. What a performance from the Crows.